Hello everybody, welcome back to the Forge Report. I am Hamster. And I'm Chris. I, uh, I grew my beard out so you could tell us apart. <laughs> and I shaved mine because in the last one I think I had some facial hair. I was like planning to do the bit of like, I was like Dark Hamster. Oh no! Which because actually I am because I have facial hair, which yeah, makes right. me evil. Okay, cool. No, this is good. Yeah, we're playing Relic Blade by Sean Sutter at Metal King Studio. And uh, I'm really excited. I've had the models forever. We uh, actually played it on Tabletop Sim. He, yeah. he did some, I, I'm pretty sure he did it himself, right? He well, said, yeah. He said the scenarios on Tabletop Sim so he could try it out. Yeah, and it's he, a, he yeah. did all the art, so all of the kind of standee models in the mod on the on TTS are his own art. So. It's genuinely just like a one man in his garage, like passion project. Yeah, It's super easy to get started. You need a low model count. All the rules are easy at a glance on all of the cards yeah. that he has. It's a super easy learning curve. So like, like if you want to like try playing with your kids or something, which but is it, why I'm here. Yeah. Well, it also has a lot of depth too, and it makes it easy to try new things because you have all of your upgrades and, and abilities on cards. You can pull out a new one and it's very easy to, to implement it. You don't need to really reference the rules every single time. The way that like the action economy works or like activation, the way that you actually have your units do things is also like super simple. Uh, upper left, you have uh, basically their action die number and literally every die you're gonna use in this game is gonna be just a D6. And so that action die is basically the number of D6s you have to use with that unit when you activate them. Then their actions that they have listed at the bottom will show like a number of die, usually one or two. And so you spend that many die to do that action. And when you roll those die, you have to uh, beat like the number that's on the die for the action to successfully do it. So if it's got two fours, then you roll two D6s, you have to get eight or more for the action to succeed basically. Movement is one action die even though you don't roll for it. You can do all the actions once except for movement and basically if there's a die in your pool you can do more stuff with that character. And also once per activation you can focus which is adding an extra die to your roll. So it takes up an extra action die but it makes it more likely you'll succeed because you're adding like another d6 into uh, into your role. Right, so especially yeah. if you're in a spot where you just want to do one or two specific things, you can just focus an action to make it more likely to succeed, or you can take a dodge that will help you on the, your opponent's activations because you're more likely to um, avoid damage. So there's always a way to spend every single one of the dice, um, and it, it feels really action-packed and fast-paced. Yeah, games are generally very fast. Yeah. When we did our test of the scenario, it still took us under an hour, and we right. were like stopping to check rules and stuff. And it was like a five round game, which, you know, something like Warhammer or something is also often five rounds, but we're talking like 30 minutes. It's a good like lunch break game. You can just throw it out on the table and, uh, and get through one or two games really quickly, so. Yeah. Today I'll be playing with the Moldorf Expedition along with a Lone Guard Ranger. It's kind of a ragtag group of uh, explorers. And I'm playing Bone in Darkness. It's, uh, it's a little comedy. It's a skeleton guys, mostly. Yeah, yeah. A lot of skeletons. And cool, like, shadowy magic stuff. But there's skeletons doing it. Yeah. 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 It's a lot of bones. Today we're playing the Ancient Waystone scenario, which is kind of the most straightforward one. We're capturing uh, magical objectives and scoring victory points, but there's a ton of different scenarios. Um, capturing relics, of course, and Relic Blade. You can pick up an objective with a card. It could be a bad item or a good item. It could be harmful or, or helpful, but it's a powerful item that you're trying to get the heck out of dodge with. Um, but there's also campaign options too for progression as you go and pick up new gear and things like that, so. Mm -hmm. We're actually using fairly small armies. We're, we're capped at 100 points and I think we're both like a couple points under 100. Yeah, and so um, um, you can shore up your, your points with upgrades and stuff, so we have four or five characters each maybe, and then they're packed up with upgrades yeah. too, with interesting stuff. Yeah. But you'll see those in action. In Relic Blade. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing on a slightly modified version of our Fissured Palace bundle. It's a great set for building chambers that have been split open by an earthquake or just general ruin. Based on what you put in that negative space, it can be a bottomless pit or lava. Uh, in this case, we're using acid because we want it to damage you, but not instantly kill you if you fall in. Replacing these jumpy stones as a way to get across the hazard, they're at a distance where it's still feasible to make the leap. The massive dungeon bridge in the center is also a huge focal point. 
It gives you a safe way to cross the chamber, and while it's tall enough that you can hide behind it for cover from ranged attacks, it's short enough that you can be on top of the bridge and still melee attack somebody beneath you. For our objectives, we're going to be using the Arcane Circle floor cover from our LED illuminated floor pack. We like it because it's very clearly an important space, it looks like an objective, a magical area, but it's flat enough for us to stand our minis on it and actually use it as playable space. And just for fun, we've dropped some gargoyles and a couple other pole accessories around the chamber, just for decoration. So, so we are uh, in setup and deployment and all that, so the first thing we do is roll for initiative. All right. Ugh, all right. Well, fine. Design. Fine. I will choose a corner and deploy within four inches of it. Mm. So. If you didn't pick up on it, uh, I'm using all uh, brown dice. And Hamster's using all red dice when we roll. So you can easily tell who's who. And we can also tell who's who. Because if you roll the same <laughs> guy in there and we aren't paying attention, it could be a problem. Right. Okay, let's see. I think I will place a wizard just so the hearth guard. Hearth guard. Hearth guard. Job's done. Hmm. And my lone guard ranger has the outflank upgrade, so he can deploy in a different corner. So the Lone Guard Ranger will deploy in the opposite corner. So like, you know, the law of symmetry would say, hey, I should be in this corner. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna jump down your throat like immediately, four inches? Four inches, yeah. Nice. I, am, I, I see some leaping bone stalkers in my future. I'll put that man. Good, good, good. I'll put that man there. What are you saying good? Yes. Yeah, you care about that? Yes. You're trying to psych me out. <laughs> Okay. I basically, basically, it's just like this. Right, area. right, yeah. And now we uh, deploy the remaining objectives. We start with one in the center. Yes. And we're using um, we're using these little these little uh, uh, floor cover pieces. Um, it's a it's a fun little. So they got a little translucent thing. So you can put them over like a, a, a light up floor, and it'll make the the crystals like glow, which is very cute. But here we like them because uh, they they take up like a good like clear amount of space. Like they take up like a two by two square, but it's still like playable. You can actually put your dudes on it, so it's not just like making huge sections of the map unplayable. Right. And so basically, yeah. the like actual objective is a center thing. So to be like engaging it, you're kind of as long as you're on the platform. You're like, so it's not like on, it's not like the entire. So it must be within eight of this center one. So I'm using the wrong side. <laughs> it's like How a... many millimeters is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna place it just right. Wait, do they still measure in inches when they play? Because war games are huge in Europe. Yeah, I mean, you know, like Warhammer is. Do they measure millimeters or do they still yeah, measure? Workshop is in England, it's in inches. The games are, yeah. Why? We won. <laughs> oh my god. Hamster, we won. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're just putting it right on your dudes. Okay. That's yeah. fine. I don't care. I'll take advantage of that open ground. It's also the wrong. <sighs> so basically, I can go. Okay. I mean, I could just like. I could. Yeah. Put it under their feet. I mean, genuinely, that's probably the play, right? Yeah, I mean, it's... You probably want to secure one point off the bat, right? I mean... Or try to. This feels... In our, in our practice game, I learned that even if probability is on your side for scoring the objective in this game, you still got to pass the check, so... Yeah. You may fail horribly. Well, I guess we should say, like, to activate the objective is, like, difficulty five roll. So, like, on a d6, you have to roll a five or a six. Yeah. So it's, like, less than 50% on one die. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Which is why it's nice to focus your activation, because right, then you got right. two d6 to hit five, which, like, should drastically. Should, in theory. Should, in theory, be pretty easy, but I failed a lot of activations. Thing. Okay. I'm going to activate the Moldorf 
Bibliothecary, the wizard. You're immediately dropping your your horrific vision? Yes. Or okay. attempting to. But I have... Let's see. I, so I have six uh, activation dice. That's my pool of actions. That guy has six? Yeah. Well, he's got a lot of spells and a lot of stuff, but it's like hard to do stuff. Like a lot of his, his abilities are two dice. Okay. And I've learned sense. I want to focus the main things. So I'm going to be spending a lot of dice to do really anything. Let's see. So I have a, an upgrade called Cosmic Essence, uh -huh. which has two uses. Um, and it decreases the difficulty of my magic spells. Um, so I will use that. It's just a one difficulty, so it just like costs a die, basically. So um, you're gonna take three die to summon this thing, basically. Basically, yeah. Um, so I'll take my two, and it's a difficulty of three. So for God's sake, I need to. All right, so I hit that. I place my illusory horror, um, if I may. Oh, you're right, right. I can't eight. just use that as like a fiddle toy considering it's uh, <laughs> also the backbone of this game. How many inches gonna go? Range of eight. I will put it right on this jumpy stone. And anything within three inches? Everything within three inches is bound, so it needs to Okay, so most of these guys the bind. Most of these guys are still out, are like just out of it, I think. Because the nice thing about Dwarven Forge is uh, every all of our terrain is sculpted with a one inch grid. Um, this is basically a one by one. So, this guy might be just on the edge of it. Um, and then I do, I have three dice remaining, so I'll take one action to move onto the objective, and then a focused activation. Because you have two objective. die left. Yes. Okay. Five plus, double sixes. So, I have Ooh, one okay. victory point. And uh, that is my wizard. Yeah, it is. How much health does that guy have? Four. Okay. Why? How much armor does he have? Uh, one. So my first activation <laughs> is going to be, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't like uh, this. Grin. First activation is going to be my Dark Watcher, which is my uh, Archer guy over here. You've got to be within twelve inches. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Barely base to base. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's just gonna. <laughs> Uh, okay, what's the difficulty on that bow? Yeah, he'll focus it. <laughs> yeah, get your die out of there. Huh? Um, okay. Uh, did we talk about crits at all when we were introducing this game? I don't think so. Uh, so, the difficulty, uh, basically that's set. We'll say, oh, it's a difficulty four. It means you need to meet a four on the roll. Uh, if you match the difficulty exactly with the d6 and you roll it, that's a crit. Right. Uh, so, you can see on the digital card that Ray's putting on this screen somewhere currently, uh, that's a four. Hold it. Mm -hmm. When you focus the action, you must crit with both dice. Okay, you didn't tell me that before. Yes, I did. I said the focus dude, die has to this match dude, a crit face. I thought it just changed things if you double, uh, mm, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I didn't need to, I would, but yeah, I would have crit if I didn't spend an extra die to focus. Well, maybe you would have rolled the two, though. What are the odds? 50-50? <laughs> okay, fine. It'll yeah, just be a so, regular attack. Let's but, go. No. But, no, that is what's interesting about the format is the die faces on the ability do determine the difficulty and the crit. Yeah. So no matter what, your chances of critting are always one in six, basically. Generally speaking, on a one die, on a one die, on a one die roll, yeah. your chances is always one in six. Right. Which is interesting. Yeah. But that's why. See, well, that's the trade-off, though, right? Because when you focus, it's more likely to succeed, but less likely to crit. Cool. Can you uh, can you roll to see how much damage you take, please? Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. So this is this is my uh, challenge die. Mm-hmm. And my armor, I got a five. Okay. Well, I only got a seven. You, I was hoping, so I take two. I was hoping you'd roll low, because that cuts your dude in half. It does cut the wizard in half, that's pretty bad. Uh, next thing, I'm going to uh, use one move die to put him up here. If he can stand, there we go. And then I will try to activate this, because he's, he's got the touch, he's got the power. He misses. Shoot. I should have done something else. That's fine. Okay, uh, no, you're going, you're going. Okay. Wait, I'm, did I did I get you down? Did I get you down to bone? 
I no, I have the next. It, your bone, your bones at three. The next square is bone. Um, on the cards, which Ray is showing right now, you'll see the little health counters on the bottom left. There's one where it's got a little broken bone on it. If you get them down to that much health, they 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 get one less action die when you activate them. It's like an right. injured state. Right. And the uh, the skull one uh, means you're down but not out. You, there is a recovery phase. Losing all your health does not mean you're dead. For right. Good. Right. Yeah. You need to take a damage in addition. We'll address that next round when he's rolling for his. <laughs> uh, when he's rolling for his <laughs> caster. Of course. Yeah. I think I will roll or activate my shadow foot. Yeah, you will. And I will make... <laughs> I, keep, I keep just playing with the... <laughs> I will move three inches. I'm gonna make an additional move. So I have four activation die. Your guys, get, your guys get way more activities than I get. I realize you, you, you just generally get more die, I think, which is not a great feeling. I'm scared of your mobility with those skeletons. Yeah, there is that. Doing an additional move. He's got two uh, left. Yeah. He doesn't have any ranged attacks though, right? His dagger can be thrown six inches, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it. Nah, six isn't close enough. If this, if this is eight, if that was eight from your from your Bible dude, uh, Biblio, whatever he is, <laughs> <laughs> Bibliothecary, Bibliothecary, he does like book science. <laughs> like what does, yeah. that mean? what does that mean? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't I don't know why I thought I'd be able I'd be within a dagger's throw here. So what I'm gonna do is focus my smoke bomb. Uh, that guy's close enough to throw a dagger at. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I'll consider that. Yeah. I'm throwing a smoke bomb. <laughs> Um, a single use upgrade, and it's a two plus, and so I make it so I will place a uh, target ground. So basically, within two inches of the location, it blocks the line of sight, and nothing can be engaged in there until next activation. And a longbow can't shoot this guy uh, in the heart. So, and I was planning to activate my archer a second time this round. So oh, it's, a, it's a good no, thing you did. Right. It's a good thing you did this now. Well, and, and your leapy boys can't engage me on the bridge then also. So there's that. So it was still a good tactical choice, I'm sure. telling myself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm very proud of you. Thank you, thank you. So it has a six inch range, so I can go up to that. I think I just need to place it like right in front of me so that you don't leap onto my guy because he needs to make it across this bridge. Do you really think I would leap onto your guy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that is my uh, activation. Okay, um, my next one is going to be uh, one of my bone stalkers. I'm gonna do the green one. Do the green one. That bone is my stalker. favorite one. The green one? Yeah. Uh, that's the first Relic Blade miniature I painted. Really? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. He's cute. Um, I'm gonna focus activating that objective. <sighs> it's a good thing I focused it. Yeah, All right. there you go. Cool. One activity point. Activity point? Victory point. <laughs> Activity points. <laughs> you can cash them in to like go bowling. Yeah. <laughs> you put it. I don't know. Like, Wait. Just count at the. Camp. Yeah. Just count at That's the what local it sounds like. Park. Like you get activity points for doing chores. Right. Right. Gold stars. I like this system. Yeah. <laughs> I wish adult. I wish adulthood worked by the same rules as summer camp. Right. Uh, and then uh, he's gonna attempt a leap. Uh huh. I can't focus it, but we're gonna see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. No. he crits. That means he gets to jump 20 inches. Oh, right. That's, that's not true. Um, the question is, where is it sensible to leap to? I mean, I get 10 inches. I can, I can go wherever I want, honestly. That's fine. So within two inches of this, it can't be engaged. Nothing can be engaged there, right? Yeah. Absolutely nothing, including my guy. He can't be shot if he's in there. That's true, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, shooting doesn't engage it, so I could I could shoot from this angle. It you told me sight. that I couldn't. You told you told me I couldn't longbow if he was in that smoke. Because your your model is over here, be shooting through the smoke. But he's in the smoke. Within two inches of it, right? Do I need to go like here to be? Yeah, no, inches? you're right. You're right. Okay, right. I'm imagining that. You gotta shoot. My, the crew is against me. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Are, are you mad that you're being called out? I. <laughs> yeah, you can stay. 
stand here. It's I'm trying. I'm just. I'm just considering all the options. So if he was standing here. And I didn't count. I, I didn't use the. I'm just saying if it I'm just saying if a completely objective third party that has I, no horse in this race <laughs> is like calling you out. Listen, in the banter pregame, I think there are plenty of horses in this race. Most of them trampling on my body. You started so. it. You're the one who said that you didn't want Ray Manning and Cameron next to you. <laughs> That's true. But that was a joke. It was playful. I think I'm on Chris's side now. Oh no. <laughs> well, you, well, you are because he wouldn't let you on his side. Yeah, physically speaking. Yes. Yeah, physically speaking. <laughs> All right, this is right this is the episode where we this is the episode where we ruin hamster. I might <laughs> I might lose the game, but I'm ending his career. Right, right. No, but that is you know what I didn't do is I didn't see uh, the two inch grid. Or, or I didn't fair. I didn't use the dwarven forge two inch grid where you're obviously within two inches of the marker. It's from the center, so it's like slightly. Uh... I have ten inches. No, I can no, I go know. closer if I need to go closer. No, I know. I'm just saying. I'm, I was considing this guy's angle, and you're right that you're in the smoke bomb. Case. Hello. I'm glad you admit it. All right, <laughs> it's your turn again. So I'm gonna activate my lone guard ranger. Oh, he's too tall. Yeah, he's tall, and he's, and he's on like the objective platform a little bit too. Yeah, that's not helping. Um, so I'll make a move of what's uh, three inches. Is it a free action to like take off his platform shoes? <laughs> Just drop a bunch. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you I'll, that. You can spend a die for that. What's his range? Is he also a 12 incher? Yeah, that's the same longbow. Um, so actually, I'm not 100% sure if it'll. Let's see. It's gonna be close. Oh, it might actually be. It's too short for pretty much anything. Um, so I'll make another move. Okay. Um, so I you are definitely within. Th you you were definitely within 15, so you should be able to move close enough to. Actually, what is his movement? Yeah, it's a uh, uh, three. Okay, it is three. Got it. All my dudes are three. Well, the, the stalkers are five, actually. Yeah, they're super fast. It's like their thing. Yeah, that's the thing they do. Okay, so now I will uh, take... So I have done two moves out of four actions. So you could focus this attack. Um, so I'll focus the longbow attack. Cool. It's a four plus, and we got it. You um, would have crit if you hadn't focused. Yeah, well, at least I succeeded. Um, so now we roll challenge day. <laughs> plus three, so I got an eight. Six plus, he's got two armor. I also got an eight. Curses! All right. That is the Lone Guard Ranger. What's the climb rules again? Uh, yeah, plus one difficulty per vertical inch. So you spend a move die and you move the, mo the movement die, or you roll the movement die, excuse me, um, per the difficulty of the climb. Okay. So it's basically, it's three inches over, and then not even one inch up to get up on that bridge. Basically one inch up, so it should, so be, within, basically, should be within his five movement to get up here. Sure, right. Uh, so since the climb is difficulty one, it's like a free. Is it difficulty one? Well, you said it was one inch. Got a two. Yeah. yeah, it's just up the side of this, which yeah, yeah. is a one inch climb. Uh, get him up here. Nice. Then he's gonna focus a leap. I'll do it. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Seems pretty good. Yeah. It's a good leap. It's your turn. <clears throat> yep, 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 yep. Okay. I have remaining my hearth guard. Yeah, just your spear dude. Which he's got a, he's got to move a bit to get to anybody. He does, yeah. He has four. <laughs> he has four. We gotta get some better measuring tapes. If we're we here. have them around, I just, you know, I'm a hoarder. Among my my pile of gray miniatures, I have measuring tape somewhere. Um, so I'm just gonna do two moves here, so I'm going six inches. So that's two of my Oh, actions. I see what you're trying to do. You're running away. What? <laughs> um, How many, does he have three or four action die? Four. God, I, you get so much more dice than me. So I'm moving my, my last move, and this counts, so I'm gonna do, the last action will be an attack. Because I started a move unengaged and ended it engaged, it counts as a charge, which gives me a bonus die for an attack action. So I will use my, hmm, my war spear here, which is a four plus uh, attack with my uh, bonus die. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I, 
I'm, I'm gonna double check if it's on the damage, the charges on the damage or the It's attack. gotta be the hit, right? Yeah, I If would it's extra so. damage, that would be... In a game like this, adding an extra D6 of damage makes it a one-shot, basically. Right. Like... To perform an attack action, got it. Yeah, it's gotta be the <laughs> Makes hit. sense. All right, so we got the four. Um, so now we'll roll our challenge die. I got a plus four on this one. Uh... <laughs> I get a plus one, so. So I got a nine. What's a nine minus two? It'd be, uh, it'd be about seven. Hmm. I'm okay, so that's gonna take that's there. gonna take me like directly down. Uh, that's gonna be a problem, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead. So it's and... disabled. I'm gonna put that guy. Yeah, yeah. That's he's not doing too good. On actually. the ground. Might have been a bad idea. I really should have jumped to the other side of your archer, in hindsight. Yeah, that is interesting because the the gap is I wouldn't really be able to. Yeah. Well, round two. Okay. Uh, what, what do I have to do to be able to move from this guy? I mean, you have to engage it and attack it, but to move. There's like out a save, of it, isn't there? Yeah. To when you make a move within three inches of it. Three. Uh, you're, you're, you have to challenge the bind. Okay, what do I have to beat to challenge the bind? Because I have nothing I can do except try to leave. He's within three of them already? He's within three. Yeah, so it's a bind four, so you have to beat a four plus. I'm gonna have to focus that. Um, yeah, I'll focus that. Okay, so cool. you're unbound. You wanna bring up the, uh, the acid rules? <laughs> yeah, so we okay. wanna do something fun with the, uh, the acid. We're basically, we're using the difficult terrain rule, so it's uh, extra, takes extra movement to run through it, but what was it? It was like uh, one, because acid's dangerous, right? Yeah, we were so, having it, we were having it, so when we did the test, we, we were saying it would be one, every time you start your round in the acid, you take a damage, is what we were but saying. But it like felt kind of... It felt kind of weak. Weak? So we were, we, this here's, might be overpowered though. Here's the said. reality. Yeah. What we found was that I was really the only person who was ever gonna have to deal with acid because you've got an ability that lets you throw my dudes in the acid. He does have a spell that can move other miniatures, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you, I, you don't really Perhaps have to worry. Perhaps off of objectives? You don't have to really worry about acid. No, but, but the thing is, is if you get like attacked and stuff, you can fall off of the bridge and things like that. You is in me. So also. we're gonna make it difficult terrain, and I think because we're making it difficult terrain, because it's hard to get out. Maybe we don't. We were talking about like, oh, do we make it a D six? A D six minus your armor, but that could like one shot. It could one shot so. anybody here. Maybe yeah. we keep it to one and difficult terrain. Okay. Speaking of you know changing, ignoring rules like in the middle of the game. We literally. This is an entirely made up rule. I know. <laughs> and we're talking about whether to keep. It. I'm making it worse for me than it was last week. I know. I know. I'm stone knifing you. Let's see. That's a six. Uh. uh Got so a plus three on damage hits. here. If he takes one damage, he's done, right? That's right, yeah. So I scored a, f a four. What's your plus? Uh, a plus seven. three, so that's a six. Six? All right. That thing's the out horror here. is gone. Woo! All right, that's that round. Round two. So at the top of the round, we roll initiative again. Uh, don't we do recovery first? Recovery first, yes. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. you have a down hey, person. Hey, uh, you know how I got blasted uh, <laughs> immediately? Uh, so when we said earlier, like, oh, you run out of health, you're not immediately dead. You have a chance to recover. Uh, just like in real life, uh, you right. might miraculously uh, just snap out of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you is it a five or a six? Especially if you're six. like a magically reanimated skeleton, you have a good chance of. That's fair. Yeah. Literally, Zelda did this constantly. <laughs> uh, so if you've got uh, if you've got a downed unit like I have, uh, I have to hit a six or six, a five yeah. or six. <laughs> There's some abilities that um, make it more likely it's like on a five, but the average. So here we go. Six. Here we go. Snake eyes. Nope. That's a two. It's a two. Snakes have two eyes. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's true. They're just both on the same die. Yeah. <laughs> I will say those guys were snake eyes, but it's like really close together. <laughs> <laughs> Genetically, something went wrong with this snake. I just saw. Isn't there is a snake that has like them both on the, on the top of their head and they look like a little. Cartoon. I want to. I want a snake with just like a little like nose. Um, yeah. But uh, if he gets hit again while he's downed, he is just gone. Basically, yeah. if he takes damage while he's down, he's done. Um, so now initiative. Now initiative. For round two. I got a two. S anything but snake eyes. All right. Hey, that's two snakes. All right. Um, I'm going first. First things first, I'm gonna eat your brains. Uh, we're gonna move the Dark Wanderer who is currently in acid. Um, <laughs> difficult terrain, I mean, what would you count? He just has to get up on that lip. 
Yeah, it'd just be like, you know, an extra inch, like two inch to get on there. Two inches up. He has one inch left. So you can make that leap, right? Yeah, but I think you gotta roll. Leap rolls, it's two? Plus, two? Yeah. two plus one, difficulty? Yeah, one difficulty per, or two difficulty per one inch, yeah. <laughs> you deserve that after that, honestly. <laughs> All right, that's fine. So he stays put. He doesn't go anywhere. Oh, I'm glad he doesn't like fall into the acid right. because I messed up. Right. I, I guess canonically he just got scared. Yeah. Okay, um, well that's fine. That was only one of my action die. I'll do another move. <laughs> We're gonna try to jump again. All right. It's gonna be two basically one inch jumps, it looks like, to yeah. get across this. Okay. Ooh, a crit. <laughs> Uh, another be. one? Oh You've my god, be. she's having a hard time. Okay, so one inch in, so can I try to make that jump twice, basically, because I have yeah. three inches of movement? It just fails the f one time, then you can, yeah, as long as you have dice. How many dice does he have? He has four. I used one oh, okay. to get up here yeah, yeah. and fail to jump this time. What I'm saying is, I saw, so these are one inch jumps, I have three inches of movement. Right. I made one inch jump successfully, I tried another one inch jump and he failed it. Yeah. Can I use the remaining one inch on that movement, or is it like, nah, he's done here? Or do I have to start movement again to attempt that jump again? Because uh, basically, I moved no, one yeah, inch. No, it's an action. It's like a move. Jump is a move action. So wait, so was it a separate action die for me to get up on this and then do the jump? So did I use two to? Yeah, you used a move to get to get from here to here. So each jump would be its own action entirely. Yeah. Okay. Because you gotta get ready. You gotta. Hit. You Diffi gotta, uh, and difficult terrain means that movement takes twice as much? Yeah, but you're, I don't think, you're not on difficult terrain, you're just doing a jump. Sure, but it might genuinely just be faster for me to have waited. <laughs> Walk to through have the waited. acid? It genuinely might have been easier for me to have waded through the acid than sure. to have jumped. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think you thought these homebrew rules that we threw in at the last minute uh, through. You just altered them I don't seconds think, ago. You should have considered my ideas a little more thorough. Oh my, I did, literally, you you chose the rule just now. We all know Chris is a bad influence here, so <laughs> I can't listen to Chris. Okay, you're right, so, you're right. He's trying to get in my head, he's trying to get in my head. I mean, I have to, I have to get across. I'm gonna jump again. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna jump again. I believe. Or is it? Better for me to just walk across. The, it doesn't just jump. Just jump. Just jump. Might as well jump. All right. Another crit. It's not a crit. I, it, okay. Oh, six. All right. It is. I've got D and D brain. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, dang it. So I do need to get a six up for this jump, or I need to do multiple you jumps at lower difficulty, focus. which obviously is not great. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> Genuinely, okay. every ra I rolled four times that round, and I got two ones. That's and pretty wild. I got two ones and two sixes. Yeah. So I I will be doing just that. I'm gonna focus on the long jump. So I need to score a six for which a means you can't jump. focus your attempt to activate the objective. At right. Because which so then you've got to hit a five. I'm not close enough to jump like onto the objective, so I'm gonna have to move. And you would get one chance to and hit I would that get one chance to hit that gritty. Yes. I have no idea what the gritty is. I, I don't know. I, know. I just know that's what the kids are saying <laughs> recently, if I'm being honest. All right, six up. Got exactly, exactly. a six. Exactly. Okay. Oh. So I make it here. He almost like falls backwards into the acid a little bit. Have I? Right. He's like, whoa. whoa. Um, use a move to get onto the objective. If your here. guys fall into the acid, they turn into bones, they turn into skeletons. Yeah, that's a new, new part of the rule because they're skin burns. Oh, okay. We're just adding rules. He becomes he becomes skeletons. You can actually turn my dead guys into skeletons for you. Yeah, I'm planning on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's like my go-to thing. Yeah, because uh, you're kind of running circles around me when it comes to. Yep. So activate objective. You gotta get a five. I do. <laughs> I believe in you. No. <laughs> All right. All right. It's the ranger. I'm gonna focus an attack on your uh, on your bibliophile. From who? The Dark Watcher? From Dark Watcher. Yeah, okay. I'm activating Dark Watcher. Okay, cool. Bowman. Bowman. Didn't have to focus it. That's fine. Just wanted to guarantee it. Go ahead and roll your uh, your not dying roll, please. My challenge die. I rolled a seven. You had a four. 
He's completely negated the damage. What is your damage Came out to a seven, plus. exactly. What I hated was I got like double fives on my attack right. roll too. If they had been double fours, you would have been done. You would have right. been toast. <laughs> okay, well, um, all right. We're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, this jam. We're gonna bust out uh, the ability to have the bone construct by uh, doing bone harvest. Um, gotta get a three or higher. Beautiful. Uh, that lets me basically shuffle um, up to three health between up to three units. Yeah, up to three friendly characters, including the caster. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull a health off of my archer and give it to my uh, dark. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm basically. I'm gonna heal up my melee guy by giving him a health from my bow guy. Wait. Speaking of bone harvest, why is the construct not deployed? Oh. <laughs> I forgot to play. I. I. I for, oh man. Okay. Well, we'll just say he was. He was chilling there. We'll just say he was here. Oh dear. It's metal. He's got a tip. The basic, I'm just gonna, just leave him here. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. that's right. Um, cool, I forgot I actually deploy him. So, the way this construct works, he gets powered, like he, he gets power to do things when you do certain actions. He gets powered by me using Bone Harvest. So he actually has like his first energy that he's ever had uh, right now. So I, 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 he, I wasn't able to do anything with him before and you also, right, you, right. Can't, you can't kill him. Right. He just, he, he moves He would just I, be like be disabled. So he's now, got, he's now got one unit of energy that I can use to activate him if I wanted to this round because I used Bone Harvest. Um, I'm gonna use my last action die to try and activate this objective. <laughs> it's one again. Oh no! That's fine, that's fine. He accomplished none of the stuff he wanted to do this round. You're up. Okay, I'm, mm. I'm activating Shadowfoot so the smoke dissipates. Oh hey. <laughs> Um, so, what's this? Movie? This is our little meat cute. Oh. The smoke clears and we see each other for the first time. Oh. He dropped his books. So, a three inch move, so it's kind of the same thing. I You're moving like... him off that object? Okay. I thought you were gonna have him run towards that objective. What? No, no, I'm, I'm talking to myself. Oh. So, what the heck? So, it's a one inch, or less than a one inch climb, basically, so it's basically free. So, I have one inch here, one inch down, and then one inch there. What? Nothing. Oh. One move. And then I will charge this guy. He's got four. Of course you are. So, that's an additional move, um, after which I'll make an attack so I get the die back for the attack action. Mm -hmm. Dual strike. That's interesting. Dual strike? Yeah. Is it, a, is it a two die attack? It's a two die attack. Um, and I get a plus four and a plus two roll damage. That's a lot of potential damage. Separately. Roll damage separately? Yeah, it says roll damage separately. Let me... Let me don't you always roll that. damage separately? Uh, Instead of you getting like both of the attack damage against my armor once and like right. super easily one-shotting me, it's basically each of those attacks goes against my armor separately. Is oh, what I it see, is. I is see. what it's about. Yeah. So it's two game design, attacks. kids. So it's two attacks, but it's one action. Yeah, okay. one action, but you get to roll damage twice. Um, I will focus it with a charge. I so I'll have focusing it with charge. Or wait, no. So yeah. So I mean, you're dice. gonna hit me. Well, it's you, a seven. I have to get a seven on the action. You would have to roll so phenomenally poorly. I've done it. There's I've, no way that'll happen. <laughs> seven, say, so, okay, we got it. I told you. So now this is where we're doing yeah. the, the damage. So one is a plus four, so that's a five. One is a plus two, so that's a seven. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use my dodge token on your, on yours. Um, I have a thing called Murder of Crows, it's a special upgrade on him. It lets me basically, I have two uses where I get to act like he has a dodge token on him. Cool. Uh, so I'm gonna use that dodge token on your second attack, which gives me an extra armor die. But first one, whoo, that's a seven. Okay. Does that fully negate that? Uh, yeah, what? it's a five and a seven. Okay, and then I'm, <laughs> and then I'm gonna use one of my dodge token uses here. That's five on the die, two armor, seven. Hmm. All right, so it does nothing. Okay. 
you burned a resource, so that's the, you burned a resource off of me. So that's something. Yes. That's so that's my activation. Uh, awesome. I have, I just have the Bone Stalker, I guess. Actually, and my Construct. Yeah, you know what? Because that dude's gonna have to like try and jump across here to get to this. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and move him to engage, right? Because he, yeah, this is what we're doing. Okay, wrong side. He can drop it. Uh, are there, do I have to roll for dropping down? Is that still a climb or You is can it? climb it, yeah. Okay. You can jump down also, but. Literally one climb. inch, one inch drop. Yep. And then one inch again. Charging my guy. I'm charging. And since I have two of my, so I get the charge on the first attack, but I can gore twice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do oh, a, yeah. a full round of attacks because I still have two action die left. So this is one gore? One gore, the first gore gets charge. Yep. Uh, six, okay. And then, that, let's roll damage on this one and yeah, settle yeah. it. Let's see. <sighs> so I got a seven. I got an eight. Okay, so um, it takes one. How much health does he have total, out of curiosity? Five. <laughs> Great. Second attack. Beefy boy. Oh. Okay, cool, that hits. Let's roll again. Yeah, that's eight. There's literally not a way for me to do damage here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Did one damage. But hey, he's engaged and he can't oh, take the objective. Hold up. I What's put up? It on do you the... have a card? No, no, I put it on the, the wrong guy. I was looking at the wrong guy. All right, no worries. Um, so the result is, is the same, but I'm just putting the damage on the... Cool, Same no worries. Yeah. Um, awesome. Uh, back to your turn, which I think you only have your caster left. No, you have your spear No, I guy. have the spear guy also. Right, because you have one more unit than Mila now. So I will try to destroy this Bone Stalker with the Hearth Guard. Go for it. I don't care. I uh, will focus my War Spear on a 4 plus. Got it. What does that hit? Um, and yeah, they don't. the down guy doesn't roll defense, so he takes damage and is destroyed. That's fine. He'll be back. Um, <laughs> so I will move. Uh, an inch and a half here, and an inch up. So that is. It's like a. It's only a one climb, so that's fine. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's hmm. two. That's two die. No, it's three because he focused. Yep. So I have one more. I will move. Here and vertically, you can engage an inch and a half, so I'll be engaging the Bone Stalker. He's also obviously engaged by the. Does he have five action time? You already used your spear, anyways. Okay. Yeah, I, I did. It's, it's an just attack engage, and two moves. It's just engaged, so I'm threatened, oh, basically. So yeah. Got it. And then uh, the Bibliothecary has six actions. And I'll focus the ob objective activation. A five plus. Did not get it. Oh! <laughs> Didn't get it. <laughs> Then get it on a focus. Oh um, my god. And then, so I'm going to use m the last remaining cosmic essence, which reduces difficulty of the spells, and use dazzling visions at minus two difficulty with a focus still. I literally need a three, thank goodness. Did you just focus activation? I did, yeah, but, yeah. okay, so I'll roll. If you want to use an extra die, feel free. With two. <laughs> I mean, it's a difficulty three now with two dice, so this dude just shouldn't keeps, be too bad. Just keeps cheating. So now, I, unbelievable. I will move up to three models, one inch, and it's a range of eight. It's so, my face, my favorite move. Your favorite move. See, see, when I was saying earlier, like, oh, you don't even have to worry about the acid, so you shouldn't be upset about it. This you keep a, changing the acid exactly. rules. I'm the only one who has to deal with it. <laughs> you can just dunk my dudes whenever you feel like it. <laughs> dunk your dudes! Yeah! I love that. I'm gonna call that, instead of Dazzling Visions, it's Dunk Your Dudes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, that is uh, the round. I don't think we have to recover anything. I have my Construct. Oh, okay, you're right. And my Construct has some stuff he wants to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's only got one move, but he's gonna howl. Um, which? Well, that's an attack. It's an attack. A, a damaging howl, that's scary. It's a pretty hefty attack, honestly, all things considered. And yeah, that dude is fully in range. 
And yeah, you can see him because he's super tall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's not a it's not a super easy attack to hit, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. That's a crit. Oh my gosh, it is the first the first crit. So it's a one die crit, so it'll be plus two damage. So that's a total of plus five. It's whatever I roll plus five. Yeah, right. Okay, so I'll roll. This is the ranger, right? Yeah. Rolled a six. I, including my armor. I just gotta not roll a one. <laughs> come on. Uh, uh, oh my god, come on. You can do it. Uh, all right. That's nine damage. That's nine to my six, so that's three. So I'm at a total of four. So I have uh, checked my, my your broken injured. bone, my injured. You're injured and you got like, he's a what, one health left or two? Uh, one left. I just gotta tap him. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, sick, sick. That's the round, folks. All right, third round, we roll initiative. Yeah, we are. There's no recovery, is there? No, my no, dude no is, one's down. My dude is gone. All right. Sneak got a two. Oh, you oh, gotta be kidding somehow me. Oh, got it. No, come on, man. All right. Fine. I will I will activate the shadow foot. So okay. let's do a scoot a little move over. So you're gonna try to here. activate the objective too. He will try to activate the objective. He's forced, so that's one move. Focus the Galdarn activation of the objective. What are the odds this goes wrong? It's impossible, right? Five plus. I got a four. Um let's see. Then I will make a, a dagger throw oh, okay. mm. attack onto that guy. Feels illegal. With my last... At least you can't focus it. Action and a miss. <laughs> so that is my shadow foot. Um, yeah, all right, we're going in. Uh, we're, we're starting off with, uh, with the Watcher here, uh, which uh, he took... What did he have a damage? Not the Watcher, the, the Wanderer, I mean. He had a damage from walking through acid. Did he take a damage? Okay, right, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, let's see if I've learned anything from my movement. So we could double. That is the right side. Okay. Okay. I did it. All right. Um. Okay. So basically, it would take two action die to move to there. So actually, okay. So I'm going to use. I'm just going to trudge through this. Take two action die to get three inches. Yeah. Last move. Step in. And he's gonna make a, uh, get the charge. So actually, the play here would be to do Dread Maul. It's a harder attack to hit, but I've got a free charge die on here. That sounds scary. Yeah, it is. Dude, this is gonna mess you up for hits. <laughs> Just giving you like fair warning here. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Does that guy, take? did he take damage at all? This guy, no. Shadowfoot? No. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm definitely using the maul then. <laughs> Oh, that's a good roll. That was so ridiculously close to being a double crit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling a challenge die, mm -hmm. one armor. Got a five. That's a nine. He takes four damage. Four damage. Please uh, tell so me. He, so he's disabled. He's one shot? He's one shot. He's been mauled. There we go. He's been dreaded. Beautiful. He's been mauled. Beautiful. Okay. That man is down. Um, that was all my action die, yes? Yeah, because I did. it took two to get out, another one to close the gap. Cool, that's him. <laughs> um, so my bibliothecary. That's a made up word. Is, I, I refuse to It's a very that. fun word. It's gonna focus Sean. activating this <laughs> objective. Sean, that's not a real word. <laughs> Sean. Please be a five plus. It's a six, thank God. Okay, we're at, we're finally above one victory point. It took you, it cost you everything. It did. So now I'm doing, ah, oh man. Another uh, Dazzling Visions. Sure. Five plus. Moving this bad boy. Three inches again. And then I will, let's see. Well, you know what I should do? Mm -hmm. Is I should protect your friends. It's a rule where if my model is engaging a disabled character, you can't just like come in and bash it and like ignore the, the guy standing there and hit him. Oh. Um, I don't know if you could do that. It wouldn't matter for me. I'd it wouldn't matter for this guy. No. I just threw him into the... <laughs> <laughs> I just threw that guy away. He really leapt. He <laughs> really leapt. I have two dice left. So I, so I will use one to move and protect 
my friend here, and then I will use my last die for confusion. Five, so he is uh, poisoned and loses dodge tokens, so he'll have one more, or one fewer activation die because of the poison. And that is the wizard. Actually, given who you have left to activate, I'm going with my remaining bone stalker first. Mm -hmm. uh, first things first, he's gonna gore. Yep. Uh, which, get that out of here. That's a hit. All right. You wanna go ahead and roll. He has what, he has one health left? One health left. And I scored a five total for defense. So I need a four or higher. Oh no. He's gonna gore again. Uh-huh. Oh no. Um, he's getting nervous. <laughs> he's gonna take he's gonna he's gonna take a dodge action. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like doing? Me, me? Is it my turn now? Yeah, what do you feel like doing? Hmm. Let's see. I I should do well. I don't want your guy to shoot my guy. So I'm gonna activate this ranger before he dies. Cause he's hurting. So he'll turn around and use a hand ax. I upgraded my hand weapon to a hand ax. Um, and so. Mm hmm. I will make an attack. What's the damage bonus on that one out of curiosity? Plus four. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. So I'll focus uh, the attack. It's a five plus though, so it's a little harder than the regular hand weapon attack. Um, and I got a four. <laughs> so it misses. Um, I can, I'm, I'm just gonna pull out my longbow and shoot him point blank, so. You can't do that. Yeah, you can shoot into combat even. What's the, what's the difficulty on that? Four plus. Yeah, there's no way you hit this. I, I didn't hit it. Um, <laughs> let's see, he will take a dodge then, also. Okay, there's go for it. A dodge. And that is the ranger. Beautiful. Uh, only dude I got left is my Dark Watcher, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw that. First thing he's gonna do, uh, yeah, he's gonna focus a shot on your on your uh, uh, bookman. <laughs> bookman. <sighs> Thank God I focused that. That hits. Um, All right. And then we're going to roll off on it. Got a six. Got a six. Oh. Gonna take an activation attempt. Got it. One more victory point. Let's go, baby. All right. And then uh, we're gonna. Oh, on one die too. On one wow. die. I only got one left. We're gonna use that for uh, uh, the bone harvest, mm -hmm. which succeeds. Uh, he's gonna once again remove that damage. To uh, he's gonna he's gonna take it on himself, which also gives a little bit of juice to the construct. Yep. And uh, that is his, that's his turn. Okay, I just have my hearth guard who will attack the bone stalker. Yeah, go for it. See if um, I care. <laughs> it'll get a little cheeky. He'll do a focused vicious strike, three dice. You have so many options available to you now. Need a seven. That is exactly seven, thank goodness. Um, so now I roll with a plus five with the, the vicious strike. So I got seven damage. Okay, um, the good thing is, there's a dodge token on that dude. Yep. The bad thing is, he's got one armor. So what's seven minus 11? Out of curiosity. Seven minus 11? Yeah, Wait. what's seven minus 11? <laughs> That's not, he did seven not dam any damage. He did seven damage into my, so I heal four, right? No, you don't heal four, but. Okay. I do have an ability. If a melee attack fails to damage, you push the attacker one inch directly away. So you're pushing him into, into your dude. Oh, let's see. What I'm gonna, I also have combat superiority, so I roll um, a bonus damage die and discard the lowest result. So the first one was a two, and then I roll a bonus damage die. So it's also a two, so same result but I, I push you away one inch. Directly away pushes me pushes into your dude. You, you in, yeah, so he's a safe put and bounces off my ranger. I think what happens, I think this dude falls into the acid. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think he falls into the acid and I take his place on the objective no, is, no, is what that no, was. No, I don't think It's just the rules. 
Um, so that's that's those good old acid rules of yours, huh? So I got my bone construct. You're done, right? I'm done. I got All right, bone construct. <sighs> what does eight inches look like again? I'd say about eight inches or so. Buddy, you were like a quarter of an inch. I yeah. You're like a quarter. Barely out. You're like a quarter of an inch out. Whoo! <sighs> you're lucky I don't bend the rules. Um, <laughs> I think the play here is to howl at your archer again, actually. Mm -hmm. Gonna howl at your dude on that objective. Yep. So gotta get a five or a six. No, that's fine. Oh, what were the odds? 33%. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, is I, think that it? I think that's the round. And no one is downed, so no recovery. You gotta, you gotta do down. I, this one, this guy's down. Shadowfoot's down. Shadowfoot's down. Um, so it's on a six Don't you plus. Ever forget? I... And he recovers on a six. Ah, he lives. He's ready to stab. Okay. All right. That's fine. Man, initiative. I just got to kill him again. It's not a huge deal. <laughs> All right. Yeah, initiative. You got a one. Got a two. You got it. All right. You know what? You screwed your dude. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go in. Actually, is he within an inch and a half here? Yes. I think I can actually, on one action die, get him to this square. You, you, you've beaten- I think I can get here, I think I can get here on, on the difficult terrain. I can get here, I think I can get here on an inch and a half. Yeah, it looks that way. All right, well in that case. Ugh. Ooh! <laughs> On uneven ground, uh, yeah. I'm gonna take, how much damage does he, he has like what, two left on him? Yes. He's got one armor. I get a charge die in here. I'm gonna stone knife. I'm gonna stone knife. Uh-huh. Use my charge die, basically guarantees I hit. I really should have mauled. Ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> okay, we're adding three to it. Okay. I got a five defense. Doesn't matter, you're done. Okay, that dude's down. Okay. And then, yep, two action die left. Here we go. Uh, well, now you can't attack him because now he's protecting your friends. Is he recovered? Can't attack him at all? No. But I think there's a thing in this case oh, where actually, they switch like this. Like if you're trying to attack Actually, um, that's, it's fine. It's you not can, like I can hide behind. It's fine. You can put him back. Can I move through or around? If I if I end past them, can I move to the other side of that dude with my movement? Or? Yeah, you can move through enemies that are disabled. Yeah. Okay, so he's actually he's gonna then so, use so a the movement die that, to yeah. go over here. Yeah. And we'll then Way take along. another. Then I'll use the maul to take a charge attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, how many dice do you have? You did a move and four. an attack. I moved and an attack. Move an attack. I'm gonna again. move an attack. I thought the mall's a two die. You no, the mall's still a one die, it's just harder difficulty. It's oh, five. okay, got it. It's got five it. instead of three. Yep. <clears throat> that's a five. Yeah, there we go, that's a strike. All right, <laughs> All right let's get it. Let's get it. So up. defense of two. You're done. <laughs> oh, you're done. They're right. both down. Also disabled, yes. Baby, 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 baby. Oh Ooh. no. Like baby, baby, baby. Um, oh, oh we. He, and I got, I got to remember, he actually has another damage die on him because he started turning acid. Uh, that's that round. Who do you um, want to activate out of the two that you have left? <laughs> uh, let's see. My ranger's almost dead, too. Yeah, I might just be at the point where like I forget about objectives and I just go for wiping you out. At, at this point, I'm yeah. hurting. Um, hand axe the bone stalker again I with guarantee, my ranger. I guarantee you Sean is going to leave a comment on this video, just being like, oh, actually, Chris wasn't doing this correctly. <laughs> well, that's what I'm worried about. I'm still, I hope I, we did do this strike th correctly. I think there's a very real possibility. I don't entirely understand the construct rules. I'm wondering if the bone harvest has to transfer a health with the ability to empower it. And then you can empower it four mm, times, right? That's fair. Like I think since I'm only getting one action out it. of it, it's not changing things too much. It's not changing it, but you yeah. might be able to do more. Like I wonder if, if there's So you're like, saying I'm winning even though I'm playing at a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Like I Let's wonder go. if you could get all three of those to make it three fuel cells. 
That would be sick. If I could actually you know, move him, if I could make him do more every round, that'd be awesome. Right. right. This game might be even better than we're playing. <laughs> That's the main right. takeaway from this. Right. Okay. So I'm hand axing. I'm focusing a hand axe on the bone stalker. Yes. Five plus. We got seven. It's a plus four damage. So that's eight. A very real possibility this guy doesn't survive. Um, nope, he's uh, that's a that's a one shot. Sabered. Yeah. Um. And then I guess I am gonna try to wipe him out. Yeah, go for it. It's a hand weapon attack. Mm -hmm. Or no, it replaces the hand weapon, so it has to be. I guess we'll do a longbow. <laughs> just try to point blank. And it kills it. Just trying to execute the guy. All right, yeah. here we go. Uh, you got what? You, you, got, you got one die left. Um, yeah. So he'll take a, he'll take his dodge. Try to activate. Oh, I thought you were gonna try to activate it. Oh no! Yeah, you're right. I should do that. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a five five. I'm not, I'm not like faithful in my one die activations. I've missed so many. Why? <laughs> it's not like your focus is going. Uh, it doesn't do it. Beautiful. Uh, cool. Well, I only have one other person I can activate. Mm -hmm. To avoid getting him into injured territory, he's actually gonna uh, take a health and put, <laughs> they're gonna swap, so my melee guy's actually gonna go to two damage, and I'm gonna heal back one of the damage that he gave him. Uh -huh. uh, just to, this is really just to give juice to the construct. Sure, sure, right. Um, assuming this is how the construct rules work, which it very well might not be. Um, and from there, Yeah, okay. I think the reality is. Uh, What's the reality? The reality is, I think I just care more about trying to kill you than <laughs> Your spear guy hasn't taken any damage. Nope. Literally, if I just tap your, your archer, he's done. I'm gonna focus an attack on your archer. Uh, that hits. It was also very close to double crit. Okay, defense of six. That's nine damage. Nine damage, so he takes three, so he's down. Yep, also I've got the uh, I've got the mark of violence on him, so his attacks oh. are deadly, so if he doesn't recover on his recovery roll. He's gone. He's gone. Oh uh, no. He's auto gone. <laughs> uh, cool, uh, so you have one dude left to activate, right? I do. So one move gets me to this edge. Oh. Huh, that's not what I thought you were gonna do at all. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna let you kill all my guys. I gotta do some damage too. I guess if that's what you really want, I yeah. can... Uh... And then an inch down and then there's two inches to charge this guy. And then, so I get the charge die back. Mm -hmm. Vicious Strike or War Spear? Uh... <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Which one does more damage? Vicious Strike? You should save that one for insurance. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I have three dice to hit a seven. So I'm gonna do that. What are the odds that you miss that? Roughly 20%. Oh! Six, six, five! <sighs> Got it. Um, so now I roll with a plus five. Cool, I'm gonna use my last crow, last That's crow. That's an 11. <laughs> oh my god. That's 11 on the die! You got 11 with even out armor. Um, but, I read out, so if it fails to damage, you're in the acid again an inch directly away. <laughs> Unbelievable. And sorry, and he protects his friends now. That's fine. Why would I want to go after anybody else at this point? That's. Sure, I did just kind of bring you dinner. I'm gonna check the distance on this very quickly. Since he's on a closer edge of the, whew, you're still beyond eight. Still beyond eight. Calculated. Um, totally calculated. Yeah, you know what? Const <laughs> uh, Construct's not gonna do anything. Uh, I'm gonna save that energy for potentially next round. Speaking of next round. Dodge or something. What's the point of having him dodge? You think that guy's gonna run all the way over here? Jeet, jeet. Imagine the construct jeet. dodging, the, the just giant bone thing trying to be agile. All right, anyway. Uh, so you've got three recovery rolls to make. Yeah, I do, I uh, do. I'm gonna do this guy so we don't forget the deadly. Yeah. Um, if you fail this, this guy's gone. Come on, give me a six. He's dead. <sighs> all right. 
That was close, though. That was close. It was a five. Um, Shadowfoot does not recover. Bibliothecary does not recover. A lot of recovery ones over there. Um, so that guy's by Ranger. I rolled a one for initiative. Three. Okay. Whew, thank God I beat a one. <laughs> uh, we had to roll it. I think I there was one round in their practice game last week where we had to roll off like four times. Right, they all kept, tied. Yeah, it was like the worst rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> uh, first activation is going to be my watcher. He's going to close this gap and take a charge. Yep. Do I want to focus it too? No, he's going to take the charge here. He's going to take a charge uh, for his... Actually, one thing to keep in mind, he did actually get pushed over into injured from that acid. Okay. So I do only have three action points this round. So it was one to get up there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the, yeah, I wanna get two attacks in. So I'm gonna take the charge on the Dread Maul to increase the odds that I land this. Lands it. Yep. Let's roll off. Eight. Two armor. Stone knife, let's go. No mauling today. I was really hoping for a crit there. If I had switched these attacks, that would have been a crit on the mall. Oh no. Oh, I only got three though for the defense. That's a four on the damage. Four, so one damage one. on that dude. All right. Okay. Who are you gonna activate? <laughs> oh. All right, Hearthguard coming in hot himself. Is he? Seven plus. That's a seven. I think so. so. We're rolling on a plus five. Um, and I gotta remember my combat superiority where I roll two and discard the lowest. So the four, so it's a nine total. There's a very real chance that uh, this dude is disabled. Yep, all right, that's gonna take him down to disabled. Okay, then he'll attempt a war spear attack to kill the wanderer. Four plus, no! All right. <sighs> That is, well, that's everything I can do. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, all right. Um, I mean, yeah, I've got my I've got my archer. First thing first, uh, we're gonna do the bone harvest. Yep. Hits it, okay. beautiful. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and swap that back. He's gonna go down to two to give one health back to the disabled guy. So. Oh man. He's technically up, he's yeah. technically up with one. He's up. Uh, I'm playing to I'm playing to take this dude out. So yeah, we're gonna <laughs> focus the longbow. He's gonna hold his shield up toward your archer. <sighs> Thank God I focused that. Uh, okay, we're rolling off. I get a plus three on this. All right, plus two armor. Got a five. What did you say? It's plus three. It's plus three. It's a Bing! five. Exactly. It's because I turned the shield to you. That's yeah. Fine. There we go. Which again feels like kind of manipulating the rules. Oh but just my gosh. Uh, this is my last forge report. Activate, right? activate objective. <laughs> activate good. objective, because why not? Yeah. Nope. Um, you don't have anything you can activate, yeah? I got nothing. Construct time. He's gonna... He's got how much movement? He's got three. He's gonna... I just, just want to get closer. Let me see, if I get here... Does that get you with an eight? It looks like it does. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. And then the last action die, we're gonna howl. Uh huh. Gotta get a five. Oh. It crits. Oh my god! It crits. And it crits. It crits. Right. Uh, defense of six. Seven. It's seven. All right, you're chipping seven, away. So he, takes, he takes one damage. But, no, well, it crit, you said, right? So it's plus two. That's with the plus two. Oh, it's, okay. It's with the plus two. All right, it's taking two damage. I mean, you yelled at a guy and it hurt him, so that's not too bad. You want to roll your recovery? <laughs> yeah, so we'll do shadow foot. Give me oh six. Oh my god. Gaze up! Oh my god. He's recovered oh twice now. Oh my god. <laughs> the bibliothecary, give me six. It's a six! No way, it's a six. Oh my gosh! Pull out a comeback. <laughs> no, 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 this is Sean. I, and I whipped that dice too. We have to cut it. Yeah. Yeah. 
On a cliff. Next here? round. <laughs> Show you initiative. Yeah, let's uh, let's do initiative. All right. I feel like if you end up going first, I'm done. This is my lucky die. This is my last recovery die. That's a four. Perfectly average. <sighs> okay. Yeah, is it good luck breath or bad luck breath? That's the top. Oh All right. God! All right. <laughs> Come on, got a three. Oh dear. I'm wearing you down. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, gambit time. Uh oh. How much is left on your shield, dude? He's taking like a couple glancing blows. He has right? three health left. Um, first thing we're doing, uh, I'm focusing Maul on Shieldman. Okay. Thank God, okay. Uh, so I get a plus five on this. All right, plus two armor. Got a three. <gasps> <laughs> I have eight. eight. Eight? Minus three is five, he's definitely done. Okay, he's down. Um, turning around uh, with the... Uh, right, cause he's down to three, act he, right, cause he's injured, so he only has three action die. Yeah. So last action die, uh, we're stone knifing your shadow foot. Okay. Get that out of here. <laughs> no longer a it lucky hits. die. It right. hits. It hits. Armor of one, I believe, yeah. Got a four. Oh, it's <laughs> two, just barely. That's cool. Okay, All right. okay. All right, my boy's still in it. And now the only guy that's left is like, your dude who's not a fighter, really. Right, I just push you around and summon the horror eventually. Throw me but also, it. the only attack that the horror has also is like improvised attack. And he binds you, which is really good, but there's there's nothing no, he's not a damagey boy. We all know there's nothing worse than improvisers. He's <laughs> now the only one <laughs> that I have to activate is yeah. the utility wizard. Yep, you're right. Um, um, okay, so I do have a spell book so I can perform the focus action one additional time. I gotta deal a damage to this guy. You've gotta get this dude off you, yeah. I, I... But the improvised attack, like, is it even possible? What's his armor? Wanderer has it's two only armor. two. My dudes aren't Only chunky. two? That's... My shield guy is two armor. On a D6 system, two armor is a lot. You can... Dude, hey, you can roll a six on a D6. <laughs> I certainly could. I'm not oh, educated, man. but I know that much. Um... I think I have to try to do the horror, which would give me an additional improvised attack on them. That's valid. I mean, you've got, look, you've got... Because even if I move you again, you just charge the guy again. Yeah, which, I mean, honestly, But wait, so me. when does he take the damage on the acid? Start of the turn, is what we were saying. So if I push you into the acid, if, as soon as you activate him again, he dies. Or he's yes. disabled. If he goes in the acid right now, unless I pump more life into him, he'll be he won't get to do anything more. Don't he'll do, he'll don't he'll do die. That. Don't do that. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I disable him with an attack and then move him into the acid? Yeah, if a downed unit is in the acid, we decided <laughs> that they wouldn't be able to get resurrected. Because it's like, well, you're in the acid, so how does that right. work? Yeah. I think that was one of the things we decided. Uh, that was one of the downsides to the acid rules that I would have to consider. Sure. So now how greedy do I get? I mean... I'm gonna tell you right now, my next activation is my archer, and it's basically just a focused attack on your dude with, like, one, no defenses. One, one health, yeah. So... But if I push you into the acid, you're just gonna bone harvest something. Even if I bone harvest him in the acid, like... One, I've taken a significant amount of health off of my archer at this point to do I these bone I could. This model is very big. What if I, I wonder if I could block line of sight from the archer. You'd have to completely block line of sight for it to matter. Right. Because I uh, have that, that mark of violence thing that makes his attacks magical. Oh, so half cover wouldn't apply, but I think full cover, like I, if I don't have any line of sight, I think you're too tall. Like I'd have to, to position it. it doesn't help that there's a here. hole in the middle of your dude. I don't think that would exactly. You're gonna try to just turn him thread sideways. the. Yeah, it's a magical attack. That's true. That is true. I think I'm kind of. 
Out of luck either way we go. Um, well, screw it. The hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Put the um, put the uh, uh, deal or no deal music. The boom, 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 boom. That's not oh, deal or no deal. Jeopardy. Is it? That's not Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yeah, Jeopardy. Jeopardy's. Oh, it might be who wants to be millionaire. It's who wants to be millionaire. I'm thinking about millionaire. That really just tense thinking music. That's that's public domain, right? It's not public domain. Everybody uses it for memes. He put "Crawling in My Skin" by Linkin Park on his side. Public domain. All right, he's gonna try to poke you with an improvised attack with his wand. Okay. For one final damage, hits the improvised attack. No damage bonus. <sighs> Need a high roll. That's a six. You still could save it. Yeah, uh, a four, a four, five, or six. Yeah, save saves it, it completely. I got a 50% chance. <sighs> okay. I was rooting for you. Turn Thank out you. the lights. Um, that's two. The party's over. I do like how I just force this to be like a, a just a slugfest instead of <laughs> objectives. That's that's a strat. That is a strat. That's fair. It's fair. We're trying to summon the illusory that. horror on a five. Got it. Where are you putting them? I will say, I don't think the acid will affect the illusory horror, considering that it's an illusion. So, like, if you want to put them in the acid, it's fine. Well, in that case, I'll put them here. It's obviously Look at me not giving him breaks. Any... Look at me, look at me. After decimating my entire constant, war band? Making constant concessions. <laughs> All right. Hamster just really needs a win. Well, now the illusory horror is, uh, Gonna do an improvised attack. Okay. Great. All right. Zip, zap, zap. Got a f got the improvised attack. Okay, cool. So he beats his fist against the post. Right. Got a six on it again. You gotta save Is it. This the same situation. Yeah. Four, four or higher. Uh, no. The same it's result. literally the same roll. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. Zip. I'm doing dazzling visions. Then he has two. He has two more dice. You're gonna dunk him. You're gonna dunk dunk your dudes. And that is successful. Get him in there. That's so fine. I asked Sister and she'll pump him right. Consider him dunked. That's all I've got. Okay. Well, I mean, I told you what was going to happen. <laughs> I tried. We're focusing. Focus on this bow. Yep. Whew. Okay. Good thing I focused. Um. I get a plus three on this. I get one armor. Nice. Got a four. So literally, if I don't, if I roll anything other than a one. Mm hmm. Ah. All right, they're all down. They're all down. But I get my recovery phase, dang it. That's true, you do. It ain't over yet. If they could, buddy. What are the odds that you recover multiple people in one? I thought I was <laughs> done. I thought I was done when that happened, honestly. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, well, I guess he's got some... Okay, so well, he's going to do one bone harvest. That succeeds. He's going to put another health on this guy to actually keep him up when the acid damage comes in. Which actually... Uh, yeah. Takes him down there. Puts a token on the construct just in case. And I'll try to activate the objective, because why not? Got <laughs> he it. gets it. So I'm at three victory points. And... Um, I'm not gonna do the construct. I have nothing to. I want to. I want to. I want to see you try to pull this off. Wait, you, if you damage my guys, they're, they're dead. With a howl or something? If you insist. If you insist, I'll howl at your at your dead dudes. Oh, this guy's dead too, cause uh, the wizard is dead. I was gonna like not do that to you, cause I wanted to see what would happen <laughs> if you had three chances to revive your dudes again. But like, <laughs> the howl doesn't work. Okay. All right. All right. Be good to me. Ice gods. All right, we're doing the hearth guard on a six. Not a five. Oh my god! All right. The uh, shadow foot. Six. But on a five. Oh my god. Bibliothecary. Uh, no. All right. So now you have free reign until my I try to recover again. All right. So. <laughs> um, we're going with the watcher first. Which, yep, yeah, takes him back down to, to one health. 
He's gonna come up on your apothecary. And that's one of his die. And then he's going to do a card that I haven't gotten to do yet. Dark Ooh. Machination. Oh nice. Which I love this. Oh no, I don't love this. No, no, no. It's an attack I can only use on a on a, a disabled unit. Uh, oh. Pretty difficult. It's a it's a two action die thing. If I beat an eight, what it turns it? them into a Bone Stalker. So I get to bring back one of my Bone Stalkers that he uh, has destroyed. Wait, is it? It's, it's disabled. Yeah, because if you're I can dead... only I can only target disabled yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Wait, he was hit with the bow. So actually, your biblio. Your bibliotech guy is dead. He was hit with a bow, which has deadly on it. So oh, it, oh, that your bow's deadly. Yes. Yeah, I forgot about that. So actually, so bibliot bibliotech guy is actually gone. Bye. So in that case, instead of stepping next to him, he'll step here so that he's next to where your Shadowfoot died. Yep. So this attack will go on the Shadowfoot instead. You got it. <sighs> That's a nine. Difficulty was eight. Yeah, okay. You want to take him back? I'll take him and you can replace him with a little skelly boy. No, do the other one. It's my favorite one. That's fair. Thank you. That's my last wish. That's the Shadowfoot's last wish. Okay, <laughs> uh, and that's all that. I can't actually use the Bone Stalker until next round. Uh, and then I'll go to the Archer. And uh, my Archer is going to focus his bow on your downed, uh, downed Shieldman. <laughs> uh-huh. My last remaining model. That was so close to a double crit. You don't need a crit. You gotta do one damage. It would've been so nice though. So it hits, right? Yeah, it hits. So I think I've oh, I've cleared no. I've cleared the map. Well you have to successfully activate the objectives. <laughs> no. And then we take as many turns as we need to for me to successfully activate right. the objectives <laughs> to get two more victory points after wiping hands. I got wiped. I genuinely thought you were going to turn that back. That's not, yeah, right. That wasn't the full story that I got wiped. It's, I got wiped. They all came lived. back. Lived. Luckily, lived. I got the initiative. Right. Yeah. That could have gone extremely badly. Yeah. That was fun. Good game. It was. Good game. We were, the, the last game was four rounds. Right. Yeah. This one, I feel like we got into seven or eight because we just got to a point where it's like we got like two dudes and we're scrapping back and forth. Right, right. Yeah. Well, that's what's so cool about uh, the scoring in this scenario is like as if there's still a fight going on an objective, no one's getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Because my main thing is I was just like, I'm just going to try and like stop you from being able to do what you're trying to do. Can you tell that I play blue, white, and magic? <laughs> yeah. Can you tell that I like just bouncing? If, if you were a control magic player, then you need this wizard that has only utility spells. <laughs> I loathe that wizard because I don't have him. Oh. I would, I would, get, I would get up to some shenanigans if I, yeah. if I had him on my squad, yeah. Well, here's what's interesting is, uh, so there's the two factions. It's, they're called adversary and advocate. It's kind of like good and evil, mm -hmm. right? So you can only take um, adversary or advocate models, but the Moldorf Expedition are neutral, so either side can take them in the warband. So yeah. next time. That's a, that is a fun thing. Yeah, you kind of like mix and match. I decided to just take all the bone dudes yeah. uh, because it very clean, like all the bone dudes and their upgrades that we had available to use at the office, uh, like came out to almost a hundred. So it was like, right. this is just like really clean and easy. Yeah, and so, it's cool to yeah. like keep the theme. Yeah, um, but, yours, but, is, I, yours, but is, I, yours is a mixture of dudes. Well, I also, like this is almost every model that I have painted. I have a couple other, I have the Lone Guard, uh, kind of pack and um, one of the other ones, but I just wanted to use more painted models because yeah. I haven't. They do look really nice. <laughs> I don't know. I I really I'm really glad we got to do like a this this dungeon map setup for it too because like it, one of the things we talked about we've been talking about doing like these war game videos for I feel like at least a year right. at this point we've been like wanting to like start this series and like pull this off and Relic Blade was one of the ones that we were like we really wanted we really wanted to do this one and a large a large reason for it was because it's like really built for like smaller scale stuff like this, and we felt like it was one of the skirmish games that would actually make a ton of sense to do in a dungeon. Right, right. Or, or, or in a cavern. Well, I just love all this jumpy stuff and yeah, they got rules. The climbing, yeah. They got rules for jumping, and we didn't do a ton of elevation stuff. We just had this bridge, which the bridge actually didn't come into play very much this time. Right. Uh, in our practice session, like most combat took place using this bridge, like people hiding like behind the pillars and stuff right. for cover. Well, because it can block so much engagement, like on these small areas. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we like uh, I had like uh, we had guys like taking like cover behind the, uh, uh, the the pillars on the edge of the of the of the, of the bridge and right. all that. And because um, the the playable space is so tight in the dungeon, the leap ability from the Bone Stalkers is just nasty. The fact that I can just like completely this. ignore. Yeah. The fact that I have two units. That, and I mean, the thing is like their mobility comes at the cost of they're super durable and they right. can't do a ton of damage or take many actions. Right. If I leap. One, it's a hard thing to pull off, so I usually want to focus it, which then means yeah. I have one action die, which right. doesn't let me do a lot. But um, I, I think, yeah, it, it, it was really fun to like do like a negative space wargame build because usually you just have like a long flat mat where like you don't have like a ton of hazardous space, right? Like, like we do here, right? Um, and it was fun that we both had units that made use of that in some fashion, whether it was me leaping over it or <laughs> you being able to just drop people over the edge. Dunk your dudes. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I love this game. This is genuinely the longest game of Relic Blade we've ever played, yeah. just because of how things wound up going. Usually right. it's uh, a lot faster than that, very, but it's a lot of fun. Very quick. I think what I like about it is like it does feel like, it feels like something happens every round. Right. Uh, which is which is nice. It's very, it's very punchy. Yeah. And I'm excited because since we've been practicing and setting up for this video, multiple people in the office have expressed interest in playing, so I'm hoping over lunch or whatnot, we can get a lot more Relic Blade in. That's because it is so f quick to pick up and and fast paced. So. That really is like it. Genuinely, is a game where it's like, oh, you've got like a you've got like an hour break. Like right. you can throw this together and just like do a quick scenario. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us for our latest Forge report. Um, find us on our, our socials and our communities. Yeah. I have I'm my own camera. On this <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just thought that would be cute. Wait, no, no, hold no, on, no, hold no, on, no, hold we're on, not done, we're not done, we're not done. Right. Uh, yeah, so thanks for joining us for our latest Forge report. Uh, join me on Twitch, Dwarven Forge Live, on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern for Hamster's Hobby Hang, where we're painting uh, whatever random models around my desk. You've been, pa you've been painting a lot of war game minis lately yeah. just because we've been like wanting to like build up the stuff that we can do here for this series. Right, well, I, and way back a year or two ago, I was painting so much Relic Blade on there. I love the models. Yeah. This is one of my favorite bundles that we've that we've thrown together, so it was fun to like get to take advantage of it. Uh, and hey, we keep the lights on by selling terrain. Uh, if you if you if you if you like the way that this looks, uh, this is all made modular, small pieces. It can be arranged in a bunch of different ways, and uh, this is just one layout that you can do with these sets. And it's actually this is a bundle. Uh, you can get all four of the sets that we use for this uh, together. Uh, with a gift card uh, on our store right now, if uh, if this looks interesting to you, it's a good like little starter pack uh, for uh, getting to do um, larger dungeon builds that maybe have been split open with lava or bottomless pits or acid like this. Also on Twitch, on the Anvil, updates on the goings on and the forge. Um, if you're painting or building, tag us on Instagram, join us on Discord. There's a lot of great painters and other hobbyists that can help you out in your painting journeys and your, your build ideas and everything. So hit us up there and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Hey, good game. Good He's game. to me. Good game. Don't do that. Don't do that. God. <laughs>